Hey everybody, we at We Will are always excited to share exciting and interesting news that happens here in Whatcom County. But first, I want to give you a little background. A few weeks ago, local state Senator Doug Anderson passed away. With the legislative session about to start and many families suffering and need of state help, we need a representative in Olympia to serve us. There is no time to lose. The way it works here in Whatcom County is In partisan races like the senators, the political party in which he associates with, in this case the Republican Party, chooses three candidates. Those candidates are interviewed by the county council and appointed to replace Senator Erickson for the remainder of his term. The council doesn't have a choice of choosing people outside of these three candidates. And if they take over 60 days, then the governor decides out of the three candidates. You might be asking why the county council is chosen to make this appointment. It's supposedly because they're bipartisan. The county council gave the local Republican party a week to decide on who their selections would be. And they needed the names submitted to the council by December 31st and decided that the 4th of January, they would have a special council meeting, which then they would decide who would represent the 42nd. So I gotta give it up to the Republican party. They got it done and got it to the council on time to make their selection. What's pretty interesting about this is that the county council voted to set up the rules that the Republican party could play by. Yeah, I'm uh, happy to have the applicants answer some questions and I believe they're all on the call today. Um, They all sent us their statements. Um, And my concern is that we postpone this process while the 42nd district needs representation in Olympia um, as soon as possible. So council member Brown, I'm surprised to hear that you're wanting to postpone it until after you're off the council. Um, I had thought originally we had had this meeting set so that we can make sure that um, an experienced council member aware of the issues was voting on this um, nomination. Yeah, I'd start by saying this is a very different process than the one in which we were appointing a judge earlier this year or in which we appoint any other position except for the 40th, in which we have to go through and only choose from the three candidates that were given to us from the party because by law we have to as senator erickson was a republican replace him with a republican and with that said the uh that really does shorten down a lot of the things that we're having to deal with also when you're considering a comparison between us and the timeline that took place with the 40th the difference there was you were having to work across three entire counties three county councils and three democratic parties all to come to the candidates, work through the process, decide on any questions, decide on dates. And as we know, oftentimes we can't even do that with one other city effectively. That takes time. And yet they were still able to do it incredibly fast. I think that postponing this and pushing it out to any degree at this point is really a disjustice or an injustice to the people there in the 42nd that are needing somebody in Olympia to represent them and help them with the flooding and the flood damage that has taken place this year, along with all of the other damages and incidents that they've run into. We, if you're watching right now, people are trying to celebrate Christmas in the middle of their homes in a trailer where they're living in a trailer because they can't even get into their house. The trailer's not even insulated well in seven degree temperature outside. I mean, the worst temperatures we've ever seen they were in a long time, as long as I can remember. And they have nothing. I mean, they're out there, they're begging for help. They're begging for support. A lot of them didn't have insurance. A lot of them that even can get to a point or could afford to repair their houses possibly have zero access to HVAC systems or to insulation or to any other number of materials that are required. Pushing this out for what gain, I'm not sure. The, um, I don't know how we look at any single one of those people that voted for us and tell them, hey, we're doing what's in your best interest right now.
by not having someone down there representing you and trying to help you and get more support available um, back to this. And every single one of us knows that this is a short session, that the process that you're talking about is going to drag it out past the open of the session, if not to the 60-day point where it goes to governor. Maybe that's what you're trying to do. I'm not entirely sure. The, um, we all know that even after that, there's going to have to be a process to swear the person in and schedule that. And then the person's going to have to do all the paperwork through HR to even get access to the systems and figure out where they're going. And at that point, you've given them zero time to be a part of the process and figure out what committees that they're going to be in. They're going to get slotted wherever is left available versus where we need them. Because just like us, Olympia is going to be down there right now assigning committee positions at the beginning of that session, just like we're going to assign them next week at our first meeting. And so, I mean, you're severely handicapping that individual, if not completely removing them from the table and like, and their ability to help us at all. It, that comes back to each of you. And so if, if you think that that's the better way to go, to ensure that those people that need us more than ever right now don't have anybody. I mean, for a piece of paper and a list of 20 questions, if you really want to know what their opinion is, put them each up there right now and ask them. You get the honest answers right now. See where they're at. But don't drag this out. Don't don't hurt the people that need us. Did they change their mind or get new information? Or did they just change their mind for political gain? We may never know. I guess the only question left is, are they going to flip again? Are they going to try to push or delay things back only for political reasons? I sure hope not. These kind of things are truly dangerous to our democracy.